Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning and turn off the water supply. Your first step is to disconnect the refrigerator's water supply line. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Next, remove the screws securing the lower access panel and pull the panel off. Remove the mounting screws to release the old water inlet valve from the cabinet. You're now ready to install the new water inlet valve. First, transfer the solenoid wires from the old component to the new one. Your next step is to transfer the water tubes. Use an open-ended wrench to press down the quick connector to release the tube. Mark the tube 11 sixteenths of an inch from the end. Then fully insert the tube into the corresponding port on the new valve, making sure the mark is even with the port opening. Please note that if the water tubes are connected with threaded nuts, you will need to cut the tube near the nut to remove. Then measure, mark, and insert the tubes into the appropriate ports. Mount the new valve by sliding the slot in the bracket over the peg on the frame. Then secure the screws. Replace the rear access panel and secure the screws. Reconnect the water supply line. Turn the water supply back on and plug the appliance back in. Please note that you should run a gallon of water through the system to clear out any air from the lines and to check for leaks.